Welcome to another epic vlog. Switzy. Poof. Started the day going to Grindelwald from Interlaken. We had to go on a gondola type ride. Teaching Liam how to get some shots. It was easy on the way up because we came really early. Nobody else is really there at that time. So we had it all to ourselves. Going up was really quick. Usually at the, you'll see at the end we kind of take a longer time to get down. But it was all easy peasy going up. It's crazy how it starts from green on the bottom. Then slowly you start to see the snow line the trees and then you start to it starts to get colder and colder then you have to take a train once you get to a certain spot about two-thirds of the way up but this train it has you standing at 45 degrees going up too quick and there's a spot where you actually take a break in order to acclimatize yourself at the beginning of it all Got the audio tour guide. Fucking there's nobody here. Maybe it's good we came early. Birds get to eat worms. Started off with an IMAX looking area. Kinda get you dizzy if you stare at it too long. We want to see the real thing. Look at that. Eye in the sky. Here we are. Top of Europe. It's breathtaking once we got to the top and we we're fortunate enough that the storm was starting to come near where we were so we got these shots and thankful we came early. Some weird statues on the inside got us kind of the Christmassy kind of weird Eastern or European I got kind of tired and end up taking five because uh, I was getting lightheaded so I just decided to take Another five. Liam was pointing my flaws out. From there, I made our way inside of this like ice palace. Kinda, kinda felt like we we're curling. And then from there, there was tourists everywhere, but there wasn't that much compared to what I was kinda foreseeing. Lots of ice sculptures all over. This stuff doesn't melt, so you can touch it all with you. Touch it all you want. The walls, anyways. There's penguins and. Piano Man and even Screet or whatever his name is from Ice Age. There was these nice little tunnels that kind of gave a feeling of claustrophobia. Making a way down the halls, just enough room to get through. And from there we went to the chocolate shop. That was my main mission that kind of brought me to the top. Super excited. Started to pack more for my daughter. It's a bit windy up here, but I gotta get the photo. <laughs> okay. Made our way to the top, and I got should have given me to give him a photo, but I didn't see him. So Liam was being a good photographer at the top, charging five euro, five francs a shot. He tried to show how solid he was, but then I had to show him, show him how it was. Being scratched from boy. But just to be at the top of the mountain, yeah, I had to end up thinking about my flag later, but we decided to try to get some shots. You missed. You missed. Oh, you missed. Damn it. You got me. <laughs> what the fuck, Liam? <laughs> Having her. Fucking right on meals. Got her favorite park hotel for the bread. Got her uh, salami. Got the gas station Swiss. Got her with some. Uh, <laughs> that would be common. Audi cucumbers. Some nut berry mix. Yeah. Break time. My job is a trash place. Make sure nobody's throwing garbage in there. Saw it once, 
I didn't let her happen again. One bottle at a time. <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> Quickly sent some postcards to people who thought that I was faking. Making postcards, but I actually did. It's actually the highest post office in all of Europe. We then started to think about making our way down because the gondola thing was broken so we kind of went to go recce to going downhill but then we decided to uh, take the train down to the next station and see where we were from there because it was kind of confusing as there was a lot of people who were confused so this train ended up being packed on the way down but that didn't stop us from getting to the next station because we were contemplating if we just wanted to walk down so then we went to the edge there and kind of scoped it out and decided to on the trails again <laughs> can't wait to get on the trails again we decided to go off the trail we'll see what happens famous last words of well what's the worst that could happen so let's let's find out <laughs> Bad idea. But it's not too shabs. It's about a uh, 70 degree. It's all right. And this way, hopefully, your eyes don't get poked. I hear the water. Get it out of that golf forsaken hell hole. <laughs> Fuck, it's the same size. <laughs> same barn. <laughs> so now we hit the tree line. The birds are here. Is that a good smudge? <laughs> so now all the birds are here now. So, so that's parallel, I think. And then angle down. That's how much we're walking in my freaking toe shirt, I got my poncho on. It's raining. Went from blizzard at the top to snowing to nice springtime in Saskatchewan to like spring and like rain. So come down. Looks like the Shire here. My uh, calves hurt. My toes. No, my toes are okay. Making our way down though. We're in the wild, it's getting a little bigger. Almost there. The toes are hurting. Too nice. Here I am and Grindelwald, but it reminds me of the Shire. Well, that doesn't, but this does. That little reminds me of an alligator. There's the Shire. After sore knees and getting to the bottom, we finally made our way and stumbled our way to our vehicle after we were drenched. We made our way back to Interlaken. Then from there, we went back to minds. Thank you for watching. Moises.